Spaceil is an Israeli organization, established in 2011, that was competing in the Google Lunar X Prize contest to land a spacecraft on the Moon. Spaceil successfully launched its Bereshit lander on the 22nd of February 2019 at 1:45 Universal Time. It entered lunar orbit on the 4th of April 2019 at 14:18 Universal Time. On the 11th of April 2019, during the landing procedure, a problem occurred in the final minutes of flight. Communications were lost with the spacecraft long enough for the braking process to fail, and the vehicle crashed on the lunar surface. The Bereshit mission had included plans to measure the Moon's magnetic field at the landing site, and was carrying a laser retroflector, and a time capsule containing analog and digital information, created by the Arch Mission Foundation. Bereshit was the first Israeli spacecraft to travel beyond Earth's orbit and was the first privately funded landing on the Moon. Though the spacecraft crashed, Israel became the seventh country to make lunar orbit and the fourth country, after the Soviet Union, the United States, and China to attempt a soft landing on the Moon. Two days after the failed attempt to soft land on the Moon, Spaceil announced plans for a second attempt, BERESHEET 2. The Spaceil team was founded as a non profit organization wishing to promote scientific and technological education in Israel. Its total budget for the mission is estimated at $95 million, provided by Israeli billionaire Morris Khan and other philanthropists, as well as the Israel Space Agency ISA. History Spaceil began as part of the Google Lunar X Prize (GLXP), which offered $30 million in prizes to inspire teams to develop low-cost methods of robotic space exploration. The Spaceil entry was unique among GLXP contenders in that instead of building a tracked or wheeled rover, Spaceil planned to meet the requirement to travel 500 meters (1,600 feet) on the lunar surface by having the lander hop using rocket engine propulsion from its landing site to another site more than 500 meters away in April 2014 American philanthropist Sheldon Adelson donated 16.4 million dollars to the project and in June 2017 the Israeli Space Agency ISA announced a donation of additional 7.5 million Israeli new shekels 2,083,333 dollars after having donated 2 million Israeli new shekels 555,556 in previous years. By June 2017, the Lander spacecraft was undergoing integration and testing, and in August 2017, Google Lunar X Prize announced an extension of the prize competition deadline to 31 March 2018, but the contest ended without a winner as no team launched before the deadline. Nevertheless, Spaceil continued development and fabrication. In November 2017, Spaceil announced that they needed $30 million to finish the project. Morris Kahn resigned from chairing the board, and promised $10 million if the organization could raise the additional $20 million. The amount required was produced by a few major donors. According to Israel Aerospace Industries, the project had cost approximately $100 million. By January 2019, testing was complete and the spacecraft was delivered to Cape Canaveral, Florida, in preparation for launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle. The mission was successfully launched on the 22nd of February 2019. The current CEO is Edo Antebi, and the president of Spaceil remains Morris Khan. On the 11th of April 2019, when its main engine malfunctioned during descent, the lander crashed on the moon's surface. Though the mission ultimately failed, Israel was the seventh country to have a spacecraft orbit the moon. Topic: <laughs> Founders and supporters. The co-founders of the team were Yariv Bash, former electronics and computer engineer in the Interdisciplinary Center in Herzliya, and currently Flytrex CEO, KFIR Damari, a computer networking lecturer and entrepreneur, and Yonatan Weintraub, formerly a satellite systems engineer at Israel Aerospace Industries and currently a biophysics PhD candidate at Stanford University. Morris Khan is the chairman of the public board and donated $27 million to the project. The team has technical support from the Israel Space Agency, ISA, Israel Aerospace Industries, Rafael Systems, and Elbit Systems. 
Spatial is also supported by educational institutions, including the Technion, Tel Aviv University, Weizmann Institute of Science and Ben Gurion University of the Negev. Spatial has over 200 members, 95% of them are volunteers. The founders of the team stated that if they had won the competition, the money would have been donated to educational purposes. After building the Bereshit Lunar Lander, its prime contractor Israel Aerospace Industries is contemplating the possibility to build several commercial landers. Topic: <laughs> Bereshit Lander Bereshit was a demonstrator of a small robotic lunar lander. Its aims included promoting careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM), and landing its magnetometer and laser retroreflector on the Moon. The lander was previously known as Sparrow, and was officially named Bereshit (Hebrew: Bereshit Genesis) in December 2018. Its net mass was 150 kilograms (330 pounds). When fueled at launch, its mass was 585 kilograms (1,290 pounds). Size-wise, it had been compared to a washing machine. It used seven ground stations, globally, for Earth lander communication. Its mission control room is at Israel Aerospace Industries in Yehud, Israel. <laughs> Payload The spacecraft carried a time capsule created by the Arch Mission Foundation, containing over 30 million pages of analog and digital data, including a full copy of the English-language Wikipedia, the wearable Rosetta Disk, the Panlex database, the Torah, children's drawings, a children's book inspired by the space launch, memoirs of a Holocaust survivor, Israel's national anthem Hadikva, the Israeli flag, and a copy of the Israeli Declaration of Independence. Its scientific payload included a magnetometer supplied by the Israeli Weizmann Institute of Science science to measure the local magnetic field, and a laser retroreflector array supplied by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center to enable precise measurements of the Earth-Moon distance. Propulsion The spacecraft featured one Leros 2B liquid propellant, restartable rocket engine, using monomethylhydrazine MMH fuel and mixed oxides of nitrogen mon, as oxidizer. This single engine was used to reach lunar orbit, as well as for deceleration and propulsive landing. <laughs> <laughs> Launch In October 2015, Spaceil signed a contract for a launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida on a SpaceX Falcon 9 booster, via Spaceflight Industries. It was launched on of February 2019 at 0145 UTC 2045 local time on 21 February as a secondary payload, along with the telecom satellite PSN-6. Bereshit is being controlled by a command center in Yehud, Israel, from the 24th of February to the 19th of March. The main engine was used four times for orbit raising, putting its apogee close to the moon's orbital distance. The spacecraft performed maneuvers so as to be successfully captured into an elliptical lunar orbit on the 4th of April 2019, and has adjusted its flight pattern in a circular orbit around the moon. Once in the correct circular orbit, it was intended for the craft to decelerate for a soft landing on the lunar surface on the 11th of April 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Planned landing site. The planned landing site was to be the north part of the Mare Serenitatis, with a landing zone about 15 kilometers (9.3 miles) in diameter. Bereshit was to operate for an estimated two days on the lunar surface, as it had no thermal control and was expected to quickly overheat. However, its laser retroreflector was a passive device requiring no electrical power and was expected to be functional for several decades. See list of retroreflectors on the Moon. Topic. Failed landing On the 11th of April 2019, at approximately 1900 UTC, the lander began its de-orbit and landing procedure. Within minutes before the expected landing, Mission Control received a «selfie» 
photograph from the probe with the lunar surface visible in the background. During the braking procedure on approach to the landing site, the craft's main engine stopped operating. The engine was brought back online following a system reset, however, the craft had already lost too much altitude to slow its descent sufficiently. The spacecraft arrived at the surface of the Moon, but at a speed and angle that did not allow for a soft landing. Having apparently crashed, communication with the lander ended. Spaceal announced a failure at 1925 UTC. Final telemetry values on the mission control screens showed an altitude of 149 meters (489 feet) and horizontal and vertical velocities of 946.7 meters per second (2118 miles per hour) and -134 meters per second (-300 miles per hour), respectively. Topic: Second mission. On April 13, Spaceal announced plans for a second attempt, BERES HEET 2, 